Number 35. Write balanced chemical equations for the reactions used to prepare each of the following compounds from the given starting materials. And in some cases, additional reactants uh, may be required. All right. So we have letter A. Letter A says that solid ammonium nitrate from gaseous molecular nitrogen via a two-step process. We need to first reduce the nitrogen to ammonia and then neutralize the ammonia with an appropriate acid. Okay, so it seems like we have to do two steps here. They are specifically telling us that number one, the first one, we have to reduce the nitrogen to ammonia. Okay, so at least they gave us a couple of hints here. We know that we're starting with nitrogen and we're going to go to ammonia. So let's do step number one. Hashtag number, back in my day. So step number one. Now um, we're going to reduce the nitrogen. And they did tell us that it's coming from gaseous molecular nitrogen. So we have molecular nitrogen. And we're going to go to ammonia. Okay. So let's first work with the molecular nitrogen. Now, molecular is just telling us that we need a molecule of nitrogen. And there's only one element, it's nitrogen, so this is just capital N. But the thing here is that can nitrogen exist by itself when it's a molecule, or is it one of your diatomics? What do you think? Yep, it's one of the diatomics. You could think of Brinkelhoff or NOF down, which I've mentioned in a couple of these videos, but N nitrogen, when it's by itself, it has to be doubled up. Nitrogen does not exist by just itself. It needs a buddy. It needs two nitrogens to exist in this world. And they told us that this is gaseous. So that means that this is going to be a gas. So I'm just going to put N2 gas. And now let's just see, we're going to yield this with ammonia. Now, there's nothing here that tells us what ammonia is. If we look on the periodic table for the word ammonia, you're not going to find it. Ammonia is a common name. Now, ammonia is a common name for NH3. So just by seeing ammonia, ammonia is always one nitrogen with three hydrogens. And let's just draw that out. So we'll see, we'll have one nitrogen with the three hydrogens. And let's see, uh, they don't say specifically what state the ammonia is, but generally at room temperature, you've probably seen ammonia, right? When, you, when you're cleaning, um, ammonia is always gonna be uh, in the liquid form. So we'll put this as an L. But now we have a problem. Just by what they told us for step one, when they said reduce the nitrogen to ammonia, here's the nitrogen and here's the ammonia. But remember, you have to have the same elements on both sides of the equation. Well, I got my nitrogen covered, ends on both sides, but I only have hydrogen on the right side, which means that I have to add an additional reactant. And reactants are going to be on the left side. So in this case, we need to add an additional reactant. So I'll just bring this over. And it seems like the only thing else that I need to add is the hydrogen. But the same question goes as before when we did molecular nitrogen. When hydrogen is existing by itself, can hydrogen exist by just a lonely H or does it need to be paired? Meaning that is hydrogen one of your diatomics? And yes, the answer is yes. Hydrogen is another diatomic. So hydrogen needs a buddy. So nitrogen needs a buddy when it's by itself. Hydrogen needs a buddy when it's by itself. And hydrogen gas or molecular hydrogen is also a gas. These are your memorizable diatomics and what they are in um, standard conditions. So N2 and H2 are both gases. And now we have the same elements on both sides, but are they balanced? Not to me, it doesn't look it. 
right? Because I have two nitrogens here with a two, and I only got one nitrogen here. So let's just try to balance. What number can I put in the front here to make the nitrogens be equal to two? Yeah, two, right? Two nitrogens now, two nitrogens, but that's going to change the hydrogens. How many total hydrogens do you have here now? Well, you have two times three, so you got a total of six, but that means that I have to add a coefficient in the front here to get it to be six. Two times what will get me six? You got it, a three. And now this step is balanced and I have to, this is killing me. Oh boy, I have to put it in the middle. <laughs> Look how much more beautiful that is. Okay, so step one, done. Now for step number two, or step hashtag two, ha ha ha. Um, we need to then, so this is number two, we're going to neutralize the ammonia with an appropriate acid. So we're taking the ammonia from before and you don't have to get the two of them. We're just worried about the compound because every equation is different. Sometimes we might need two, sometimes we might need three, but that depends on the equation itself. So I'm going to come in with my ammonia, which is the NH3, and that was a liquid. And let's just put that this was ammonia. And we're going to neutralize it with, so that means that this is going together, the ammonia with, with generally means plus, right? You're putting it together, adding it together. So I know that this has to be with some type of appropriate acid. And then we will make solid ammonium nitrate because we wanted to make solid ammonium nitrate from this gaseous molecular nitrogen via the two-step process. We're taking the N2 from step one and we're making the solid ammonium nitrate in step two. So we first have to figure out what ammonium nitrate is. So ammonium nitrate. So this is going all the way back to finding out your compounds. So the first thing is, is that if you look on the periodic table for ammonium, eh, sorry, but you're not gonna find it. Ammonium is a polyatomic, which means that you just gotta grin and bear it. You gotta use flashcards, memorize them out. Polyatomics, they're very specific. The charges go with whatever the polyatomic is. And once you memorize them, it will make chemistry much easier. So ammonium is always going to be NH4 with a plus one charge. So let's try to find out the other one. Same thing with nitrate. I say, okay, if I look on the periodic table, am I going to find the word nitrate? No, no. Nitrate is also a polyatomic. So you have to, you know, grin and bear it, nitrate, what is nitrate? One of the main polyatomics that we will use throughout this whole course, but nitrate is NO3 minus one. And now since you have your ions, you can crisscross them to figure out what the compound is. This plus one and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling you how many of each you have. But for both of them, you got one NO3, because of the plus one, and you have one NH4. So in this case, it's just one for one. So you'll have NH4, NO3. You can put the ones there if you want to, but usually with ones, you don't have to do it. Okay. But now the thing is here, and maybe I'll say that this is now ammonium nitrate. Now the thing is here is I still need to find that appropriate acid. Now they did say appropriate, which eh, thanks for the hint, <laughs> but we can find it out because we can look here and see what they used for polyatomics. Now we coming from the ammonia, look at this, it's NH3. Well, that looks very, very close to NH4, right? The nitrate is what we need 
as for the acid. Because the NH3 is partnered up with the NH4. So that means that this has to be probably super close to the NO3. But now all we have to do is just turn NO3 into an acid. And when we are using acids, remember acids are always H in the front and then plus whatever else you want. Doesn't matter whether you're dealing with just one element or a polyatomic, but this, you know, whatever this is, you can do your crisscross applesauce to figure out what your acid is. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to take a hydrogen in the front and then use the NO3 to make the acid from nitrate. NO3, like we said, has a negative one charge and hydrogen, since it's in group one, is going to have a plus one charge. Same thing as before, use those subscripts, plus one, minus one. This one's a pretty easy crisscross because they're just ones. So one NO3, one H. So this would equal HNO3. And this is nitric acid. Whenever you start off with an ATE, nitrate, it always turns into ick acid. I ate something and it was icky. Eh. <laughs> so that's our appropriate acid. So we have H. And then maybe I'll put the NO3 in. There we go. And now we just have to make sure that it's balanced. Well, we got one NO3, one NO3. That's all good to go. We got one nitrogen, one nitrogen. That's good to go. And we have three hydrogens plus one extra. That's a total of four. And there's the four hydrogens. So these are your two steps. And I guess, eh, it looks pretty enough. Let's see, if we box this off, eh, that's gonna ruin it. But basically those are your two steps. So maybe I'll just put this in like a, a little star. Star it up, beautiful and call it a video. Okay. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. Thank you so much for being here and being part of the community. You guys absolutely rock, and keep working hard, all right? I'm rooting for you on your tests and quizzes. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.